Tennessee linebacker Henry Toto. Please raise your hand and we'll call on you. We'll start with Jimmy Hines and then we'll go to David Oval. Henry, tell me about that uh, fake punt. <laughs> uh, I mean, Coach Pruitt and the Coach Graham, um, you know, all of our whole entire special team staff did a great job of drawing that up, uh, practice it throughout the week. And, you know, we just came out. Uh, Pax did a great job. Everybody did a great job blocking. Um, Pax did a good ball, and, you know, it was it was a great play. Did you uh, prove that they should call that more often to get the ball in your hands? Uh, I, I do. I like the ball in my hands. Uh, I like running the ball in high school, but, um, you know, just trying to trying to get a team winning. I'll do anything for the team. Uh, Henry, what's that fake called? Huh? What's that fake called? See, I wish I could tell y'all, but, you know, that's team stuff. That's team <laughs> stuff right there. What, what has it been like? That's your second time to have the ball in your hands uh, this year. What was that one, that particular carry like? Uh, I mean, it's fun. You know, coming out of high school, I played running back, linebacker. Um, you know, I, I mean, you just got to revert to the old days. Um, you know, it ain't, ain't nothing like touching the ball as a defensive guy. All right, we'll go to Blake Topmeyer and David Pascal. Yeah, Henry, I, I mean, how would you assess your, your pass-catching pass ability? How much opportunity do you, you know, get uh, to work on that in, in practice? Um, I mean, I try to get on the jug as much as I can. Uh, if out of 10, I would have to rate it. It would probably be a 10 out of 10. I'll probably give myself a 10 out of 10. And then what was the what was the mood after this game? It had been some time since you guys had, had won a game. What was the mood um, afterward? Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody was happy. Everybody was smiling. Um, you know, it's been a while since we've seen a, guy, a lot of guys smiling, um, positive energy. Uh, so, you know, it feels good to get a win. Um, we just got to have that 24-hour rule. You know, the 24-hour rule doesn't happen when you win, um, but also happens when you lose and win. So you got to be able to um, react to both of those situations. Henry, can you just talk about the impact that Bryce Thompson's pick six had on this game? Yeah, that was huge. Um, you know, we harp on getting turnovers um, every single week. Uh, we have a goal of getting turnovers um, throughout the entire week to be able to, you know, not only give us confidence, but to, to change the field, you know, change the game. So uh, that, was, that was huge for us on defense. Oh, yeah. We'll go to Wes Rucker and then Gustavo. Henry, regardless of the opponent, you know, this was a game y'all were expected to win, but you won it. How much value is there in winning? I mean, can, can that be something that y'all just really, really need, something that can kind of change things going forward just to, to kind of feel what it feels like to win again? Yeah. I mean, you go – you lose for a while, but, you know, you get a win and you, you gain confidence. You get that, um, that boost that you need. Um, so we got to do a, a great job um, as leaders of the team um, to be able to enforce that. Um, that we need to come out and grind every single day. Um, it's not just one time you come out and get a win and, and you become complacent. Um, we got to enforce it every single day from here on out. Harry, uh, what do you, how do you assess the improvement of defense from last week to this week? Very actually, you know, scoring an interception. He had 10 tackles. You know, last week there was a lot of issues with pressuring the quarterback. And I feel like tonight there was the biggest improvement of the team. How do you assess that? Um, you know, as a team, you try to make strides. Um, you try to focus on an area that you need, that you struggled in last week, um, that you struggled throughout the season. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of proud of the guys on defense. I'm proud of everybody um, that, that worked so hard. And, you know, we just got to carry it on from here. As a player of the field, how do you saw, you know, as Sarah Fuller made history converting two uh, extra points? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a really, I'm, I'm really proud of her. Um, I'm really proud of the example that she's setting um, for not not only women, but everybody across the country that they can do anything that they put their mind to. Um, so, you know, it was, it was a proud moment for me. All right, we'll go to Jimmy Himes, then David Pascal. The, the run defense in the last two weeks, uh, Florida and then Vanderbilt has been outstanding. What's been the key there? Um, <clears throat> physicality, you know, to be able to stop a run, you got to be physical. Um, you got to be strong up front. You got to be strong. Um, in the back half, coming down and, and making tackles. So, um, you know, it's, it's it's just us being physical throughout the play. And you lost uh, quite a bit of weight going into this season. So we're nine games in. 
Do you think losing that weight has made you a better player this year? Yeah, uh, I believe so. I believe that um, when you put your mind to something and you try to try to use it, for me, I just had to get used to me losing so much weight. Um, I was so used to carrying uh, 240 um, and being able to just not move around as much. So now I kind of adjusted throughout the season to 225 and, and try to play as fast as I could. I will go to David Ogden. <laughs> Uh, Henry, I'm, I'm guessing this, this is the longest you've gone during a season without a win. What was the hardest part of the last, you know, couple of months, and what did you learn from that? Um, you know, for me, it was it was learning the lesson of being able to persevere. Um, you know, it's easy for anybody to to go on a losing streak and just fold and want to give up the season. Um, but you know, this season's taught not only me but the entire team to be able to fight. You know. Um, even though we come out with losses throughout a lot of our games, um, we learn to fight. No matter what game it was, we have that dog in us. Um, and that's something that we'll carry on from here on out. Jimmy, did you have another follow-up? I did. Uh, Henry, where do you think this team has improved the most since uh, the start of the season on defense? Um, you know, there's a lot of areas that we still need to improve on, but I think the biggest thing on defense for us is coming together as, as a family. You know, um, that's kind of the biggest thing as a defensive team that you want to be able to play as one. Um, if we all play clean football, um, everybody does their assignments, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be perfectly fine on defense. And I, I think that's where we've slowly um, progressed on throughout this season. Has it been frustrating that it didn't come sooner? Uh, no, you can't get frustrated when you're trying to build something. You can never get frustrated. Um, you always just put your head down and keep working. All right. Thank you all. We'll have a... Uh...